there's a fear that somebody may be inside. It looks like New Orleans after Katrina. The neighborhood's filthy worms everywhere. A lot of these homes will have to be demolished. Larry says that's why he wants back in to try to salvage what he's got left. 360's Gary Tuckman, who is just down here in the city for the latest from there. Gary? Well, Campbell, just a few days ago, this was a very large backyard and patio, but it's changed an awful lot. Now it's a smelly, mucky tributary of the Iowa River, which is about a half mile away. Now, this water here is about four feet deep where I'm standing, but about 100 yards to my right, it's about nine feet deep in other people's backyards. I know that because there's a basketball hoop down there, and a basketball rim is at 10 feet, and the water is just under the rim. Here in Iowa City, the population is 70,000. Hundreds of people are without homes right now. This city, Iowa City, has become the latest victim of the catastrophic flooding. The ugliness is more visible when the day mm -hmm. is beautiful. In Iowa City, hundreds of homes are buried in what was rolling prairie just a few days ago, but is now a mucky lagoon. Ducks swim in what was a parking lot. Water rises past the windows of a mega church where thousands of members worshipped. A mega Matt church. Hayek is a city councilman. It's been very emotionally trying for our city. These people. Woo! <laughs> 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 Sorry, there was there was high five. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I know that guy. I know that guy. He's right here. Well put. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's it. 